gold. There is a castle on a hill so far into the sky that birds that from the valley beds up to the turrets fly, climbing towards the sun, can feel the clouds go tumbling by. But always far above the clouds, the sun is shining there. It shines forever on those walls, and the great boughs that bear harvests of never fading fruit are golden everywhere. Who journeys to that castle crest finds with his journey done all ages and all colours in cascades of light that run over the broad weirs of the air forever from the sun. Two things are silver, flower of plum when April yet is cold, and willowed floods that of the moon quiet leases hold. That castle in the sky alone of living things is gold. Between unfathomable blue and the bright belts of green, Midway the plains of heaven and earth, a rock born that stands between woods and the sky, a golden world where only gold is seen. Old carvers in the stone have cut forests and rocks and herbs, and these are gold. The dials tell the sun in golden words. The very jackdaws from the towers wheeling are golden birds. The minting of the sun is on the gravel everywhere. The yellow walls are fleeces washed in pools of sunny air. But coming to that castle place, all men are Jasons there. Trance like to stand upon that hill when the deep summer sings. Gold clad, gold hearted, and gold voiced, and sings and sings and sings is as to wait a rising world in flight of golden wings. And I have walked with love that way, and on that golden crest the sun was happy for my love, for she is golden pressed, a red gold that of all golden things the great sun marks for best. O oh, golden castle of the sky, hereafter gold can be only your image, when the sun transfigured her for me, till she was golden clouded Joe, and I her Danny. Hereafter in the chamber the night, when linked love is told, one thought shall spare to climb that hill into the sunbright fold, for a great summer noon, when love was gold and gold and gold. Blackbird. He comes on chosen evenings, my blackbird bountiful, and sings over the gardens of the town, just at the hour the sun goes down. His flight across the chimneys thick, by some divine arithmetic, comes to his customary stack, and couches there his plumage black, and there he lifts his yellow bill, kindled against the sunset, Till these suburbs are like Dimmock woods, where music has her solitudes. And while he mocks the winter's wrong, wrapped on his pinnacle of song, figured above our garden plots, those are celestial chimney pots.